Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to multiply fractions with whole numbers. Whole numbers with mixed fractions. If you will like the video, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment at the end of the video. So here the question is five into eight by ten. Whenever we are working with the multiplication of the fractions, we always multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. Now here numerator is five and eight, denominator is ten. Below five, in the question they haven't mentioned any denominator. So any whole number, whenever we are writing, the denominator is always equals to one. If it's not mentioned, for example, if I write on here four, the denominator for four will be one. If I write on seven, the denominator of seven will be one. Now we can write it as five over one into eight over ten. Now we can multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. We'll get equals to forty over ten, which we can simplify with number ten, and we'll get our answer as four over one. Similarly. If I write on another question, eight by ten of sixty. Now, whenever we are writing this term of, of means multiply. So we'll write down eight by ten into sixty. Now, since in sixty they haven't given us any denominator, so that means we can write down here one. Now we will multiply. Numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. We'll get equals to eight into sixty is four hundred and eighty over ten, which we can simplify with number ten, and we will get our answer equals to forty-eight. Similarly, we have some other kind of a questions which are related with this particular topic. So let's understand about that also. If I write on here one by four of an R. Is equals to if I write on here one by four of one kilometer is equals to how many meters? And here if I'll find out how many minutes. So what should I do for such questions? Now an hour means one hour, and in one hour how many minutes are there? Sixty minutes. So in place of that one hour, we'll write on one by four of one hour. Then we'll write on one by four of sixty minutes because one hour is equals to sixty minutes. Then we can calculate it is equals to one by four into sixty is equals to. Now below sixty we will write on one sixty into one is sixty over four. Now we can simplify it with four. We can simplify with four. We will get equals to fifteen minutes. So that is the answer for this question. One by four of an hour equals to fifteen minutes. Similarly, the question is one by four of one kilometer equals to how many meter? Sometimes they will give you meter, sometimes they will not give you meter. So if you have to calculate one by four of one kilometer, so we have to always convert this kilometer into the smaller unit. So the smaller unit for distance is meter. So we can write it as one by four of In one kilometer, how many meters are there? So one kilometer is always equals to one thousand meter. So we'll write down in place of one kilometer, one thousand meter. Then we will write one by four into one thousand. Below one thousand, we can write down one. We will multiply here. We will multiply here. Then we'll get one thousand over four, which we can simplify with number four, and we will get our answer equals to two hundred and fifty. Meter. Similarly, you can find out what is half of an hour. You can calculate what is half of one kilometer. You can calculate what is ah、uh, one half of a day. You can calculate one by four of a day. So these kind of a questions you can calculate by this method. Now let's understand how to multiply a whole number with the mixed fraction. So the question is two into one two by three. Now since This is a mixed fraction. We have to convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction. So we'll do three into one is three plus two is 
5, we'll write down 5 by 3. Since below 2, no denominator is given in the question, that means it's 1. Now we will multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator, and we'll get equals to 10 by 3. Since in the question, they have given us a mixed fraction, so final answer should also be written in the form of a mixed fraction, which is equals to 10 divided by 3. We'll divide 10 with 3, we'll get here 3 3s are 9 minus 1. This is your remainder, this is your quotient, and this is your divisor. So the rule is we can write improper fraction in terms of a mixed fraction as we write down D here, Q here, and R here. So we'll substitute the values here. D is 3, Q is 3, and R is 1. So this 10 by 3 can be written as 3 1 by 3. Similarly, the question is 3 1 by 5 of 2. So of 2 means 3 1 by 5 into 2. So we can convert this into improper fraction. 5 into 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. We write down here 16 over 5 into 2. So below 2 we can write down 1. So that will be equals to 32 over 5. If I will divide 32 with 5, I will get it equals to 6 or 30 minus then 2 is the remainder this is the quotient and 5 is the divisor so we'll write down here q r over d so quotient is 6 r is 2 and divisor is 5 so this fraction can be written as 6 2 over 5 so this is how you can solve such questions if you like the video do not forget to hit like and subscribe button and do not forget to share my channel link with your friends thanks for watching